Good morning. Tuesday, October 20, 2020. Be diligent at all times and pray that you may have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Be ready, dress for service, and keep your lamps lit. Like people waiting for their masters to return from the wedding, as soon as he comes and not, they would open to him. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds what awake when he comes. Truly, I'll tell you, he will put on an apron and have them sit at the table, and he will wait on them. Blessed are those servants if he find them awake when he comes at midnight or daybreak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's invoke the Holy Spirit as we do it on the Sabbath. Come Holy Spirit, come by the power of the intersection of your Holy Wife, the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Amen. Good morning, everyone. I know yesterday I was lazy of me not doing uh, the reading of the Gospel. Uh, I'm gonna fix that next week. Uh, but here we go again. One more day, and it's time to enjoy what the Lord is telling each one of us. And you know that we spend time praying the rosary, and we go to mass, and we are just so happy. Be right that we like sometimes think that we are one foot in heaven but sometimes ah, hold it right there sometimes we are so not ready and sometimes we think that just you know those doing those things are very important believe it they are very important but sometimes we don't take care of the one that needs food, the one that needs shelter, and we, sometimes we don't go and visit the one that is in jail. Sometimes we don't even go to one uh, some hospital, especially these days. It's very hard. It's such a hard time for us to be doing those kind of things. But in reality, when I was listening to the priest on Sunday, he was saying that on Rome that was a pagan completely pagan world and he became uh, this Catholic place most of the time a lot of people were looking at these people on the street they were helping the one that needed help the kids that other people threw it out just to let them out there to die they will pick him up and take care of them. And that it's what it is these days to be uh, a Catholic. And sometimes we have a different 2020. There's so much electronic and so many good movies that we watch. So sometimes we spend so much time on them. And sometimes we kind of like lay back and just relax so much sometimes we don't even do uh, certain things to make our lord be happy you know going to to mass or going to to be one hour with him um adoring him praying and sometimes we don't we don't do those things but especially with our uh, brother on the street, we don't do that either. It's sometimes so hard for each one of us because we are so busy 
that are working now. <coughs> Excuse me. And sometimes uh, we don't have time for that. And we have to really do both, you know, being a good father, taking care of your kids, helping your kids in school, and helping them to ask them, like, did you do the rosary? Did you read the Bible? Or, uh, you know, these things that are important because sometimes we just think that we're just going to come and become a cash couch potato kind of guy and do nothing. And even if we're not a priest or a nun, that we can dedicate our entire self but to, to those things, uh, charity, we can do as a lay person or a lay woman those things that are very important and imitating our, you know, Father uh, Joseph as uh, the carpenter or Mama Mary. And those things are for, for us very important. Because they are the one who raised Jesus. And sometimes we don't even ask them. You know, we am in the middle of something. And, and for the whole thing, looking at the reading, it's telling us to be ready, to be prepared, to be always on guard. And it's like being on the battle and that's what it is sometimes when we get lazy and we just lay back and and all that sometimes it takes away from each one of us our good time to spend it doing a good will and and something good for for others it's something that in my put a smile on jesus put a smile on god sometimes we don't really want to do those things because we don't want other people to be watching at us and saying, oh, look at what that guy's doing. Really, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a real thing, you know. It's like sometimes uh, it's hard for people, especially these days, you know, you see them with these faces and they just put their hand like that and you'll be like, what is wrong with this guy's face? Why well, he's not happy or oh, because I'm broke. And, and that's, that is sad because it, when the person doesn't have a Jesus in their heart, it, it, there's no happiness. And it, it doesn't matter the money of the world. Sometimes when you don't have it, you don't have it. And sometimes we need to be the one, be the light of the world out there. And just put a smile on some people's face when they have this, oh, like, uh, you know, I, I can't ask him for the money or nothing because... He, he looks like he's going to kill me. Anyway, so be ready for the Lord when he comes back in all different situations, in all different, you know, possibilities, praying, going to church, be ready, be in grace all the time. You know, I know that some people <clears throat> living in, in concubine, concubine and, and um, not even married to church. You know, when he comes back, you know, what did you expect? You know, you don't have your candle lit. And that is something that that is going to be tough. And let's just not make it all the way to the, to the, to the damnation situation for each one of, of us. Let us be happy all the time and just show uh, the world that we are Catholics. Thank you once again. From Junkers, New York, your brother Efraín Rodríguez Ortiz. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. The Virgin Mary help you to get to heaven. Amen.